Nostalgic Nick here, inviting you to reminisce on the romantic escapades of a music artist who made women swoon with his piercing blue eyes and irresistible charm. This classic heartthrob left a trail of admirers, from budding starlets to established Hollywood legends. The crooner's seductive voice drew them in, much like moths to a flame. Intrigued by his tantalizing gaze and captivated by his suave demeanor, these leading ladies found themselves enamored with the man whose impact transcended generations. Let us delve into tales of passion involving this iconic figure, recounting stories filled with love, desire, and unforgettable chemistry. Stay tuned as we explore how he conquered hearts one song at a time. And don't forget to share your thoughts and memories inspired by this legendary charmer. Nancy Barbato and the music artist Frank Sinatra met each other as teenagers and decided to tie the knot before he turned 24. At first, their marital life was filled with happiness and contentment. However, things started to change as the music artist's career took off, and he gained immense popularity. His frequent absences and numerous extramarital affairs led to a strain in their relationship. One particular incident that worsened their already fragile bond was when Frank's ongoing affair with the actress Iva Gardner came to light. This revelation proved to be the last nail in the coffin, and soon after, Nancy made the difficult decision to separate from him in 1950. Although she moved out of their shared home, she never stopped loving him, even after their divorce was finalized in 1951. Despite the heartbreak and pain caused by the music artist's actions, Nancy remained hopeful for reconciliation until her death. Their granddaughter revealed that even though they lived apart, they continued to share a deep affection for one another, which lasted throughout their lives. Thus, despite the tumultuous ending to their union, it can be said that Nancy Barbato and Frank Sinatra's love story remains a poignant testament to the complexities of romantic relationships, especially those involving famous personalities. In 1946, the music artist Frank Sinatra found himself utterly captivated by a striking blonde actress named Lana Turner. After watching her mesmerizing performance in the film The Postman Always Rings Twice, this encounter sparked what Sinatra would later describe as a deeply passionate love affair between the two celebrities. However, Turner held back from publicly acknowledging the extent of their relationship for many years, insisting that they had merely shared a series of casual encounters, and maintaining that their bond leaned more towards being platonic than romantic. Despite these differing perspectives, one cannot deny the undeniable allure and charm exuded by both stars during this era which left an indelible mark on Hollywood's glamorous past. Turning the pages of time, we still find ourselves fascinated by this enigmatic duo, and the tantalizing whispers of romance lingering around them like a delicate perfume scent in the air. As we delve deeper into the story, let us tread carefully through the gilded halls of yesteryears, mindful not to disrupt the echoes of laughter and secrets hidden behind those closed doors. The Marriage of the Music Artist Frank Sinatra to actress Iva Gardner in 1951 was fraught with challenges. Both partners were known for their volatile temperaments and infidelities which frequently disrupted their marital bliss. Their union was often punctuated by heated arguments and make-up reconciliations, giving rise to much speculation among fans and media alike. Despite these difficulties, the couple remained devoted to each other during the early years of their marriage. However, things took a turn for the worse when Gardner began seeing a famous Spanish matador. This development significantly strained the already fragile relationship between the two stars, ultimately leading to their separation in 1953. Interestingly, even after their divorce, Sinatra continued to support Gardner financially throughout her life. As she grew older and faced various health issues, he reportedly provided her with financial assistance, demonstrating his ongoing concern for her welfare. Their tumultuous marriage served as fodder for gossip columns and tabloid magazines for many years. Yet, it also highlighted the complex dynamics of celebrity relationships and the lasting impact they can have on those involved. Even amidst personal turmoil, the music artist showed compassion and generosity towards his ex-wife, leaving a legacy beyond just his music and films. In the late 1950s, the paths of Angie Dickinson and the renowned music artist Frank Sinatra crossed on the set of the Colgate Comedy Hour. This encounter marked the beginning of a connection that would last almost two decades. Contrary to popular belief, their bond was not consistently intense or fiery. Instead, it was characterized by a deep understanding and appreciation for each other, allowing them to maintain a steady yet flexible relationship through the years. 
Their friendship began when they were both married to different people, Dickinson to football player Gene Dickerson and Sinatra to Iva Gardner. Despite these commitments, the chemistry between the pair was evident even then. After both their divorces, the nature of their relationship shifted slightly, leading many to speculate if they became more than just friends. However, neither party ever confirmed nor denied these rumors publicly. Their bond persisted despite multiple marriages and relationships throughout their careers. They remained close until Sinatra passed away in 1998. It can be surmised that what held their unique relationship together was its strength and resilience, capable of weathering personal changes and public scrutiny alike. While never explicitly defined, the link shared by Angie Dickinson and Frank Sinatra remains one of Hollywood's most intriguing friendships. After Frank Sinatra's tumultuous relationship with Iva Gardner came to an end, he found himself becoming involved with another Hollywood star, Lauren Bacall. However, there was one problem. Bacall was already married to Sinatra's close friend, Humphrey Bogart. Their romantic involvement began while Bogart was still alive, and it wasn't long before the news of their secret relationship made headlines. In fact, things got so serious between Sinatra and Bacall that they even announced their engagement in 1958. However, the couple's happiness was short-lived. When the news of their engagement broke out, it sparked intense public backlash. Many people were shocked and appalled by the idea of Sinatra dating his best friend's wife, especially since Bogart had only recently passed away. Faced with mounting pressure and criticism, Bud Call ultimately decided to call off her engagement to Sinatra. Despite their deep love for each other, they knew they couldn't continue their relationship without causing further pain and heartache to those around them. Looking back on this chapter of Sinatra's life, it's clear that his relationship with Boo Call was a complex and emotional one. While they may have been deeply in love, their actions had far-reaching consequences that affected not just themselves, but also those closest to them. Speaking of the music artist Frank Sinatra, he and Marilyn Monroe shared a special bond. Their friendship blossomed during challenging times for both of them. They offered each other support and even ended up living together platonically for some time. Monroe had gone through a divorce, while Sinatra faced professional setbacks. Sharing a home allowed them to lean on one another amidst their respective turmoils. Despite media speculation, they maintained a purely friendly relationship throughout their cohabitation. However, things took a turn when an intimate moment transpired between them. This unexpected development added complexity to their already strong connection. Regrettably, their romantic entanglement proved short-lived due to external factors influencing their lives. Upon Monroe's tragic passing, Sinatra experienced deep sorrow. He held her memory dear and reminisced fondly about their time together. Her demise significantly impacted him emotionally, leaving a void difficult to fill. Reflecting on the music artist's life, it becomes evident how meaningful his association with Marilyn Monroe truly was. Amidst the highs and lows, she remained an essential figure who touched his heart profoundly. In the early 1960s, the music artist Frank Sinatra became engaged to Juliet Prowse, a talented young actress who had starred alongside him in the film Can Can. However, their relationship was short-lived, ending within just a few months due to a number of factors. One major issue was Prowse's desire to maintain her own successful career in acting, which clashed with Sinatra's expectations of a more traditional role for his partner. Additionally, the music artist's behavior could become challenging to handle when he had been drinking, leading to further tension between the couple. Despite these challenges, the engagement between Sinatra and Prowse generated significant interest and excitement among fans of both stars. Ultimately, however, the pressures of their respective careers and the difficulties that arose in their relationship proved too great, and the engagement came to an end. Even so, the memory of their brief romance continues to intrigue and fascinate those who follow the lives and loves of classic Hollywood stars. In 1966, the sudden union between the music artist Frank Sinatra and Mia Farrow raised many eyebrows due to their considerable age gap and differing ways of life. At the time, Sinatra was already a seasoned artist in his 50s, while Farrow was still a young actress in her 20s, just starting to make a name for herself in Hollywood. Their relationship seemed like an unlikely pairing, yet they found common ground and decided to tie the knot. Unfortunately, their marriage was short-lived, ending in 1968 when Sinatra served Pharaoh divorce papers while she was on the set of Rosemary's Baby. Despite the brevity of their union, it left a lasting impact on both of them, particularly on Pharaoh. Years later, 
Farrah dropped a bombshell by implying that Sinatra could potentially be the biological father of her son, Ronan, who was born 20 years after their divorce. Although Sinatra had passed away by then, the revelation sparked much speculation and intrigue among fans and media outlets alike. To this day, the question of Ronan's paternity remains unconfirmed, leaving room for interpretation and debate. Undoubtedly, the music artist's brief marriage to Pharaoh added another layer of complexity to his personal life, which was often shrouded in mystery and controversy. Even after all these years, the topic continues to fascinate those who follow the careers and relationships of iconic figures like Sinatra and Pharaoh. In 1976, the music artist Frank Sinatra embarked on his fourth and final marriage, tying the knot with Barbara Marks. This union turned out to be his most enduring one, lasting until Sinatra's passing away in 1998. However, it wasn't without its share of trials and tribulations. One significant challenge that marked this marriage was the strained relationship between Barbara Marks and Sinatra's children from his previous marriages. The complex dynamics among them created tension within the family circle. Despite these difficulties, they remained married for over two decades, making this Sinatra's longest marriage. However, another controversial incident occurred towards the end of their time together. As Sinatra lay dying, Marx decided not to inform his children about his condition. This decision led to further alienation between her and Sinatra's offspring, sparking debates among fans and observers alike. This chapter in the life of the legendary musician serves as a reminder that even behind the glitz and glamour of fame and fortune, personal relationships can often be fraught with complications and controversies. Frank Sinatra's romantic life was filled with passion and drama, much like his music. This classic musician had a string of high-profile relationships with some of Hollywood's leading ladies. His love life was just as captivating as his career, featuring both fleeting encounters and serious romances. Early in his career, the music artist dated actresses such as Marlene Dietrich and Lana Turner. These relationships were often tumultuous and short-lived, but added fuel to the already smoldering fire of his reputation. Sinatra's charm and talent made him irresistible to many, including Iva Gardner. Their relationship would become one of the most infamous in Hollywood history due to its intensity and frequent upheavals. His marriage to Gardner lasted four years, plagued by arguments and alcohol abuse. Despite their challenges, they remained close friends until Sinatra's death. Following his divorce from Gardner, he married Mia Farrow, who was half his age. Although their union only lasted two years, it too left an indelible mark on Tinseltown lore. Sinatra later found stability with Barbara Marks, whom he met after his separation from Farrow. They stayed together until his passing, providing a sense of calm amidst previous storms. Throughout his life, the music artist maintained connections with various former lovers, illustrating how deeply intertwined his private and professional lives truly were. From sultry serenades to fiery flings, Frank Sinatra's romantic journey mirrored the emotional depth present in his discography. Each twist and turn served to further solidify his status as a legendary figure, leaving behind memories etched into the landscape of American pop culture. Even today, his impact continues to resonate strongly, inspiring generations of musicians and movie stars alike. Born on December 12, 1915, in Hoboken, New Jersey, Frank Sinatra was the only child of Italian immigrants, Natalina Garaventa and Anthony Martin Sinatra. His father worked as a firefighter, while his mother stayed home to take care of young Frank. Despite their modest means, they always encouraged Frank's love for music. As a child, Frank frequently sang on the radio and even performed at local events. He attended Demarest High School, but never graduated due to poor academic performance. However, he continued singing and found solace in it during tough times. At just 20 years old, he started performing with Harry James's band and quickly gained popularity among fans. Several people influenced Frank throughout his career. Bing Crosby, one of America's most popular singers during the time, played a significant role in shaping Frank's style. Tommy Dorsey, another influential figure, helped him refine his skills when he joined Dorsey's band. Later, Nelson Riddle became a vital collaborator, arranging some of Frank's greatest hits, like I've Got You Under My Skin, and fly me to the moon. Frank also drew inspiration from various genres outside of jazz and pop, including classical music and big band swing. These diverse influences allowed him to develop a unique sound that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. Throughout his illustrious six-decade career, 
Frank remained committed to pushing boundaries and exploring new styles, leaving behind an indelible mark on American music. Growing up in Hoboken, New Jersey, Francis Albert Sinatra found solace in music from a young age. His mother, Natalie, was his biggest supporter and encouraged him to explore his singing talents. At the tender age of eight, he sang for the first time on stage at his local church, an experience that left a lasting impression on the young boy. Sinatra's teenage years saw him immersed in big band swing music, which would later become his signature style. He idolized musicians like Bing Crosby and listened to records obsessively. By high school, he had already formed his own musical group called The Three Flashes with two friends. Their gigs around town were met with great enthusiasm, further solidifying Sinatra's aspirations towards a life in music. A significant turning point came when Sinatra won a talent contest at the age of 19. As part of his prize, he got to perform alongside Harry James's band at the Paramount Theater in Times Square. This opportunity exposed him to a wider audience and opened doors for future collaborations. Despite facing numerous setbacks early in his career, including being dropped by his initial record label, Columbia Records, Sinatra remained undeterred. Persistence paid off when he signed with Capitol Records in 1953, kickstarting what many consider his golden era. From then onwards, it was clear that music wasn't just a hobby for Frank Sinatra, it was his destiny. Despite being born into a family barely making ends meet during the Great Depression, Francis Albert Sinatra found solace in music. His father, a firefighter, brought home a used victory recorder, sparking young Frank's interest in singing. Financial struggles forced him to drop out of high school, but he didn't let that hinder his dreams. At 17, Sinatra began performing at local events before landing gigs in nightclubs. Rejection was imminent when trying to break into the already competitive music scene. Initially, critics dismissed Sinatra as just another crooner. But after honing his craft and developing his unique vocal style, he caught the attention of band leader Harry James who offered him a job. Although it paid poorly, Sinatra seized the opportunity, which eventually led to working with Tommy Dorsey, one of the most popular big band leaders at the time. Sinatra's career took off, selling millions of records by the late 1940s. However, personal demons threatened his success. He suffered from severe stage fright, had stormy romantic relationships, and struggled with alcohol abuse. Yet, through professional help and determination, he managed to bounce back each time. By the mid-50s, public opinion turned against him due to alleged connections with organized crime figures. This resulted in radio stations boycotting his songs, causing a decline in sales. Instead of succumbing to despair, Sinatra reinvented himself. In addition to releasing successful albums like Only the Lonely, he ventured into acting, earning critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in From Here to Eternity. Frank Sinatra's story serves as a testament to perseverance despite numerous obstacles. With sheer grit and creativity, he transformed adversities into opportunities, leaving behind an indelible mark on both the music and film industries. After struggling to find success in the early years of his career, Frank Sinatra's breakthrough moment came in 1946 when he signed with Capitol Records. Under the guidance of music executive, Pete Rugolo, Sinatra developed a more mature sound, marked by big band arrangements and sophisticated crooning. This new style culminated in the release of the album songs for Swinging Lovers in 1956, which received widespread critical acclaim and solidified Sinatra's place as a leading figure in American popular music. Groundbreaking projects like Songs for Swinging Lovers showcase Sinatra's ability to convey deep emotion through song, earning him praise from both fans and industry insiders alike. Music critic Whitney Balliet once noted that Sinatra has learned how to merge the singer and the man into one entity. Meanwhile, fellow musician Tony Bennett described Sinatra's voice as having a built-in poignancy, praising his ability to connect with listeners on a deeply personal level. Throughout his career, Sinatra also demonstrated remarkable versatility as an actor, delivering standout performances in films like From Here to Eternity and The Man with the Golden Arm. His portrayal of Maggio in From Here to Eternity earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and cemented his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Director Otto Preminger, who worked with Sinatra on several films, praised his natural talent and charismatic presence, noting that he had something special in intensity and sincerity that comes across even in still photographs. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his life and career, including battles with addiction and public scandal, Sinatra remained a beloved cultural icon until his death in 1998. 
To this day, his contributions continue to resonate with audiences around the world, inspiring countless musicians and actors to follow in his footsteps. Let's delve into the artistic vision and process of Frank Sinatra, one of the most influential figures in American music. Known for his distinctive voice and emotive ballads, Sinatra had a unique approach to his work. He was deeply involved in every aspect of his recordings, often insisting on multiple takes until he achieved the desired sound. This dedication to perfection earned him the respect of fellow musicians and industry professionals alike. Sinatra's personal experiences greatly influenced his work. Born in Hoboken, New Jersey, in 1915, he grew up during the Great Depression. These early hardships informed his perspective and were reflected in his songs about love, loss, and resilience. His relationships, particularly with the women in his life, also provided rich material for his art. Many of his most famous ballads, like My Way and Strangers in the Night, express themes of heartache, determination, and self-reliance. His signature style, characterized by its intimacy and vulnerability, set him apart from other singers of his time. Rather than projecting to a large audience, Sinatra sang as if sharing a secret with each listener. This connection resonated with fans, making his performances truly special events. Furthermore, Sinatra's innovative arrangements pushed the boundaries of traditional pop music. Collaborating with renowned arranger Nelson Riddle, he developed a lush, orchestral sound that became synonymous with his brand. Together, they crafted iconic records like In the Wee Small Hours and Only the Lonely, which remain timeless classics today. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, including shifting musical trends and professional setbacks, Sinatra persevered. His unwavering commitment to his craft and ability to adapt to new circumstances ensured his lasting impact on popular culture. Even now, over two decades since his passing, his influence can still be heard in the works of contemporary artists who continue to draw inspiration from his extraordinary body of work. Known as the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra was a towering figure in American music. His impact can still be felt today, over two decades after his death. According to Stephen Van Zandt, a member of Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, Frank kind of invented being hip. Sinatra's cool persona and effortless style were groundbreaking in the mid-20th century. He brought a new level of sophistication to popular music, paving the way for future crooners like Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. But it wasn't just his image that made him influential. His voice and musicality were also revolutionary. As described by singer Michael Bublé, he had this ability to sing anything and make you believe every single word he could sing a song that meant nothing. But because he sang it, it became something. Indeed, Sinatra's emotive delivery and phrasing set a high standard for subsequent generations of singers. Moreover, Sinatra played a crucial role in shaping the Great American Songbook, which includes classics such as My Way and New York, New York. These songs have become part of our cultural fabric, covered by countless artists and cherished by fans worldwide. Producer Quincy Jones once noted, we owe so much to Frank for keeping the bar high and maintaining respect for the art form. Beyond his technical prowess, Sinatra's willingness to tackle complex emotions and stories through song has left an indelible mark on music. Indeed, even modern musicians continue to draw inspiration from Sinatra's work. As Lady Gaga stated during her Grammy tribute performance to the icon, he's been my jazz hero for so long I wish he was here right now. Through his contributions, Sinatra has created a lasting legacy that continues to resonate with both industry professionals and casual listeners alike. Beyond his successful music career, Frank Sinatra led a rich personal life filled with passion and generosity. He was known for his love of golf, horses, and fine dining. Sinatra's taste for the high life extended to his collection of luxury cars and stylish wardrobe. His appreciation for fashion even influenced men's style during the mid-20th century. Sinatra was also deeply committed to various charitable causes throughout his lifetime. After losing his mother to breast cancer, he became a dedicated advocate for cancer research, donating both time and money to raise awareness and support medical advancements. Moreover, he actively supported children's organizations, veterans groups, and disaster relief funds. In 1976, President Gerald Ford recognized Sinatra's humanitarian contributions by presenting him with the prestigious Gene Hersholt Humanitarian Award. Despite facing numerous controversies, including alleged ties to organized crime, Sinatra remained steadfast in his commitment to helping others. Through his philanthropy and genuine concern for those less fortunate, he demonstrated the power of celebrity influence for positive change. 
Even today, Frank Sinatra's legacy continues to inspire new generations of artists and activists alike. Delving further into these aspects of his life paints a more nuanced portrait of a man who left an indelible mark on American culture. Frank Sinatra, a true icon in the music industry, leaves behind a rich musical legacy. His velvety voice and powerful stage presence captivated audiences for decades. Sinatra's influence extends beyond his own work as he paved the way for many artists who followed him. He showed singers that it was possible to evolve and adapt to new styles while staying true to themselves. Reflecting on his career, Sinatra might advise young musicians to stay authentic and never compromise their artistry. In an ever-changing landscape, maintaining one's unique identity can be challenging. However, by doing so, artists like Adele, Harry Styles, and Billie Eilish continue to honor Sinatra's legacy today. They push boundaries while respecting the traditions laid out before them. As for the future, emerging musicians must embrace innovation and collaboration. Technology has transformed the way we create and consume music. By leveraging these tools, artists can reach wider audiences and develop new sounds. Moreover, collaborations across genres and borders foster creativity and cultural exchange. These practices will help shape the music industry's future and keep it vibrant and dynamic. Ultimately, Frank Sinatra would likely encourage aspiring musicians to remain passionate and dedicated to their craft. Success does not come overnight, but through hard work, resilience, and constant growth. As they embark on their journeys, may they remember Sinatra's timeless wisdom, the best is yet to come. Beyond his boyhood roots in Hoboken, Frank Sinatra's passion for music propelled him into a remarkable career spanning six decades. In the early years, he started out as a crooner, captivating audiences with his unique voice and style. His innovative approach transformed the jazz and pop genres, blazing new trails for future artists. Sinatra faced setbacks along the way, but refused to let them hinder his progress. During the late 1940s, when his popularity waned, he reinvented himself by delving deeper into acting and cultivating a more mature singing persona. This comeback cemented his status as a true icon in the entertainment industry. Throughout his illustrious career, Sinatra released over 60 albums, garnering numerous accolades including 11 Grammy Awards. He also graced both stage and screen, earning critical acclaim and an Academy Award for his role in From Here to Eternity. Yet, it was not just his talent, but his indomitable spirit which made him truly shine. Frank Sinatra left behind a rich tapestry of unforgettable performances, inspiring generations of musicians and actors alike. As we reflect upon his life, one thing stands clear, creativity and perseverance can lead us down exciting paths, enabling us to contribute something extraordinary to the world around us. As we take time to appreciate the career of music artist Frank Sinatra, it's hard not to be amazed by his influence. With a career spanning decades, he left an indelible mark on the industry. Born on December 12, 1915, in Hoboken, New Jersey, Sinatra found success in every era he performed, from the big band days to the age of rock and roll. His velvet voice serenaded generations, selling millions of records worldwide. Hits like Strangers in the Night, Fly Me to the Moon, and New York, New York still resonate today. But beyond his talent for singing, Sinatra was also an accomplished actor. He starred in over 50 films and won numerous awards for his roles. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Frank Sinatra's work and lasting impact? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with friends who love classic tunes, and subscribe for more great content celebrating entertainers who shaped our cultural landscape. Let's keep the conversation.